Hello everyone, my name is Feroz Khan and this is Let's Play Cricket. I welcome all of you to my channel to subscribe and like so that we can discuss uh, the cricketing tips and professional cricket in this forum. Let me introduce myself. I am a professional, uh, former professional cricketer and currently I am a businessman. This channel would be dedicated to cricket and cricketing stuff. We will be talking about how to play professional cricket. Uh, let me introduce, before I start, let me introduce myself. I started my career at the age of 15. Uh, I, I guess it was a bit late to start the career, which I will not suggest. I started my career from the city of Kolkata, uh, city of joy, people call it. My, my journey of cricket began uh, as I was playing uh, uh, for my local team, and uh, Mohalla team. This is how I started my playing cricket. You would say gully cricket. Uh, this is where people started to notice that I play uh, pretty good. So everybody started telling me uh, you should join an academy uh, because you really play well. So I used to ignore them because I know my father would never encourage me to play cricket. So I ignored a couple of years. I knew because cricket uh, was the game when I started playing uh, at a very early age but not professionally. So I knew that uh, uh, I had cricket in me. But there was no uh, proper guidance uh, to tell me uh, how to approach for the cricket to play for the to play better cricket in life. When I started playing cricket, everybody used to say you're good. Uh, so by the time I reached uh, 13, I was 13 or 14 years of age when one of my uncle uh, he really encouraged me uh, to join academy. Uh, he convinced my father that I really play good. Uh, he should support me. Uh, but my father outrightly rejected uh, and I was quite disappointed at the same time I couldn't go against my father also uh, I was little no uh, <clears throat> so couldn't go against my father so I decided to wait another year to convince him that I could do better you know and uh, the only fear of my father I, I'm not saying he's bad the only fear of my father was that if I play cricket it will uh, hamper my studies and that his only focus was me to study and 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 to become a better person and and to get a job or to do something else in my life because he knew cricket would not benefit me which i would say most of the parents would think at this even at this point of time that cricketing and sports doesn't give in india especially in india sport doesn't give anything but it's not only about sports it's not only about earning it's about your liking which i would be talking about and I would like to share my experiences with you so that the kind of uh, mistakes which I have done, which I don't want uh, people to do that so that they can learn from my experiences and can be benefited. So let me begin with how I started my career. As I said, I was 15 when somehow I convinced my father uh, that I can join the cricket academy and I promised that it will not hamper my studies. He said, okay, do whatever you do, you know, I, 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 you have no support of my cricket, but it should not hamper your studies. That's, that's fine. Uh, so I clearly remember I joined the academy and uh, I met my first coach and until I quit my cricket, he was my last coach. So I didn't change my coaches. Uh, whatever I am today, whatever I would be speaking in near future of my cricketing experiences, I would like to give that credit to my coach Bulanda. So I clearly remember uh, I was really good in batting whenever I used to play for uh, my gully cricket or mohalla cricket, any local team I was always a batsman and bowler second. So when I asked my uncle what should I do, so he told me that uh, when you join academy, you join as a bowler. I asked him why. He said, if you go as a batsman, you know, <clears throat> uh, the batsman only gets one ball to get out and bowler gets six balls to bowl. You know, even he gets five sixes and five balls. Still, you know, one wicket can win the heart. So that's really stuck in my mind, you know, before approaching my first day of my academy. So when I reach and from my heart, I was always a batsman and for my skills, I was always a batsman. Uh, but when the coach asked me, uh, what's your name? I said, Feroz. So what do you do? I said, I bowl. I didn't say I bat. He said, okay, go ahead and bowl. 
So I, so I started bowling. So after a couple of balls, he said, come here. Do you bat? I said, yes, I do. He said, go and pad up. So when I pad up, he asked me to go in the nets. I started batting. Uh, he really liked my batting. He said, stop bowling for now and start practicing in your bat, you know, start focusing on your batting. So that's how he, he you know, recognized that I'm, I'm potentially a batsman. So he started flourishing me, you know, first year, I remember I didn't, I, I was just doing practice. I was just playing matches here and there. And this is how the level starts in uh, Kolkata. When you are in Kolkata, you started playing from coaching levels, school levels, and then you go to second division, first division. And when you do good, uh, then you get into the state level. And eventually when you do good, uh, you play for your country. And, uh, and my determination and my passion for the cricket was tremendously high. And I was highly motivated to play for my country, to represent India. I, I did my best. So this is how I started. And, and I first opportunity I got to play for my school. Uh, and I, I really did well. It was under 16 because I, it was my board exams and I was I was quite uh, a performer in my school. I started playing really well and people started noticing me. This is how I my first limelight when I got the spotlight that was playing for my school. It was uh, under 16 Coca-Cola Cup. I don't remember the exact year. Probably it was 96, 97 I guess. And uh, that time uh, we were uh, participating in a tournament was a district tournament where all the schools were participating and I was the captain of my team and we were the champions. And this is how I got the lime tag and the first time my name published in the newspaper, I was really excited. And uh, I scored on all the matches which I played uh, half century and I used to take wickets at the same time. So this is how I got a little bit of limelight by playing for my school. And this is how my father also noticed. First year of my coaching, you know, I started scoring runs. And I start, uh, you know, people, uh, people started noticing me that I really play well. And after playing the school level, I, I got an opportunity to play for the second division uh, league. <clears throat> so I signed one club. Uh, I don't remember the club name. I think it was CCD, I remember. Yes, uh, that was a club name. So first year, my my coach said, don't expect anything. You just go and learn you know, how they play. I said, all right. So I was really patient. I was doing whatever I was asked to do. I used to take them. I used to, I was, uh, I used to take water for the teammates. I used to listen whatever they used to say. I used to learn how they play. What is the approach of playing the cricket? Because it was two days cricket kind of a semi-test match. So this is how I started my career and first year and whole year I, I couldn't, I didn't get any chance. So uh, I remember we used to have only uh, one, uh, sorry, eight matches in a year. Uh, I remember I got an opportunity because of my good behavior that I was very consistent, I was very on time and I was uh, good in nets. So they decided to give me an opportunity in the last match. And I remember in my first match, and uh, for the season it was the last match, for, for, for my career it was the first match when I scored my 42 runs. And I was really happy and they were really impressed. And they signed me for the second year and I started playing regularly. And it was not a good year for me, so I, st I was not so consistent with my uh, scores. Uh, because over the years I've learned, you know, how to develop your ment uh, because cricket is all about mental game. It's, it's all about mental game, how mentally you are prepared. So this is how I started my career. After the second year, then I've switched uh, to another team was uh, called Saras Samiti. And there I signed another team. And from, I remember that year, I was the highest run scorer. In eight odd matches, I scored somewhere around four, 450 to 500 runs, I guess, I remember. And that year, I was very, very disappointed of uh, my mistake, uh, which I did. Because every year, my father used to take us you know, to our hometown uh, for a couple of months. And uh, so when the season ended, uh, 
So we decided to go to our hometown for a couple of months. So I told my coach I have to leave. But my coach was telling me, you know, you did pretty well. Uh, you may have chances of getting selected in under 19 Bengal team. So I said, all right, so I'm looking forward to it. So after I, uh, my season ended, I went to, uh, to my hometown. And that time uh, we didn't have mobile phones, neither my phone, uh, my house had a uh, home connection as well. And by the time I came back uh, after two months, and my coach, the first thing he told me to get out. And I was really surprised and shocked. I said, I said, what happened, sir? He said, your name is there in under 19 Bengal team because of your performance. And it was a camp and my name was in, uh, there was a 26 people selected for, based on their performance. And I was one of them. And it was a camp of one and a half months. And by the time I came back, it was only two days left. So I was so disappointed, you know, and couldn't tell my father how disappointed, how disappointed I was, all my hard work, you know, because it was a dream come true to play for at least under 19. Because if you play under 19, you get a really great exposure and in, in, in your cricketing life. And, <clears throat> For any cricketer who was starting professionally so so when I went there and uh, it was just two days I attended the camp uh, but I think uh, the damage was done uh, I know my and final 16 they had to select and my name was not there eventually which was quite expected so I was very disappointed but I did not lose my heart I said I will I will work really hard you know and from now on, uh, I will I will give all my uh, hard work, my determination, uh, and I will work more harder. So after that performance of my second division, I got promoted. Uh, I got selected to one of the teams. I had signed a first division. Now, first division is the league in Kolkata where you perform well uh, based on your performances, uh, how you score, uh, you get selected in uh, uh, state level which is Ranji Trophy from Bengal so this is the tipping point here I have to perform really well because this is the time when people will notice you selectors will notice you selectors will notice your uh, performances so this is the level I wanted to reach so this was a very special moment for me to play my first uh, uh, first division league so again uh, my first year of first division league didn't go that well. It was performances in here and there. Uh, but uh, then I switched over to another team. It was a Rangers, I remember. I started scoring runs pretty good. Uh, but, you know, uh, I started playing uh, years over year, you know, but I couldn't get through. Uh, but there was a time then I decided uh, that I have to quit now. And uh, financially, uh, uh, I was not good. Uh, because I, I'll tell you that I did not own up my, I, I didn't have my own gloves, uh, I didn't have my own pads, uh, and I didn't have my own, I didn't have my own bat. And uh, for a batsman, you know, it's very important to own your own equipment uh, because the kind of confidence it gives you uh, playing with your own equipment, it will not give uh, playing uh, by borrowing it. So anyhow, I have no regrets by borrowing, you know, since I did not have that capacity at that point of time to buy it, you know. And let me share one more thing, you know, I played uh, cricket since 1996 till 2002. Since then, until 2002, I couldn't own up my own equipment or my own bat. And that was my biggest regret in my life. So in 2002, I decided to quit because uh, in cricket, the age limit is quite essential. Uh, you should know, uh, you know, uh, where you know where you can take you. And uh, so that that point of time, I decided to uh, quit the cricket. And it was a very tough decision for me to make it because uh, a boy uh, was always passionate from childhood to play for his country, if not at least uh, for his state. I couldn't represent either state or my country. So it was for me, it was very disheartening. It was very disappointing because I couldn't do anything else other than playing cricket. 
So then I decided to quit the cricket and start my career in another field. Then I started to move on and started my career in different field. And the education which I have, I said I would like to carry on with that. So I decided to come down to Delhi. And this is where I started my career. And I worked in an IT company for almost 11 years. And after 11 years, I didn't play any cricket. Any cricket at all. I didn't even touch the bat because I was, I couldn't see the bat, you know, because it was so, uh, emotionally I was attached to this game. I couldn't play, you know, the, the kind of cricket I wanted to play, the kind of level I wanted to play. But again, it was my passion, you know, uh, and still my passion. So after doing 11 years of job, I, I started to quit again. So I decided that I don't want to do the job. I want to do something on my own. I want to start my own business. And I was, at, I was at very good level of my career. So my bosses were saying that uh, you're doing a big blunder uh, by leaving at this point of time. Uh, you're getting a decent salary, a decent post. So what are you going to do? Uh, I said, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do. But what I know is that I'm not going to do a job at this point of time because I'm very saturated. I'm not justifying my salary. So this is, this is, what I, this, this is the reason I want to quit. And by the time I got married, and my wife uh, literally supported me. He said, uh, follow your dreams, you know, irrespective of what may come in your way. You should never, you know, leave your dreams. You should always follow your heart. After my coach, she's the one uh, who really supported me in whatever I'm doing today. And whatever I have achieved today, she has played a very big role in my life. So credit goes to her as well. So I started to do a business. So we started and I was quite successful in my first venture. And uh, I went to, because my wife is Mexican, I went to Mexico. From there, we started a business through uh, USA. And we started a couple of projects, uh, stayed there for a few years. And we decided to come back to India. And uh, uh, India, we started a business again, uh, it's, uh, it's a successful business. So then I said, okay, now my I'm already, uh, by the time I came here, I was already 35. So back then I came here. When, when I came back to India, I, I saw a few people, you know, uh, playing cricket. And this is how I started my cricketing. I have started my cricket cricketing life once again. I started following my uh, cricket passion uh, all over once again. I saw some people playing, you know, uh, cricket in my society. You know, uh, I asked them, can I join them? Uh, I started practicing with them. Uh, one of the guys offered me uh, one match to play. Uh, I said, why not? <laughs> so I remember I was, my first match uh, was, uh, it's it a corporate match, I would say. Uh, I, I played uh, with India TV some media uh, corporate, uh, internal corporate uh, tournament. So I scored uh, my, my first match, uh, some 86 runs. So it was uh, quite good. And that's how I, uh, I got my passion back to play cricket again. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, the, the motive behind to make this video is uh, irrespective of your age, irrespective of uh, which part of your life you're standing right now, uh, <clears throat> you should never you know, give up your passion. Uh, you should never give up your dream. Uh, okay, it doesn't matter you haven't played uh, for your country, but still, you know, the kind of happiness uh, which gives me uh, to play cricket even at this time of my life, 
uh, you know, whatever I do in my life, yes, I have whatever I achieved, whatever little I have achieved in my life, you know, I'm happy, I'm content with my life. Uh, but uh, I, I don't know, it only cricketers, those who are cricket lovers, they would understand me, what I'm talking about, the kind of kick it gives you, you know, when you play cricket, uh, it doesn't get uh, anything else, you know, you get that kick. So this is for you guys, which I'm talking about that, you know, uh, I'm, I'm sharing this uh, story. I'm sharing my experiences uh, so that, you know, uh, you should not give up your dreams. Never, you know, uh, give up your dreams. Uh, you can start at any point of time, you know, start your passion. Uh, the day you decide, do it. And this is the philosophy of my life. So this is how I started playing again. And uh, by now I have started uh, because my first match as I shared, you know, with you, it was after 15 years, I, I have picked up my bat once again. I have scored 86 and I was quite happy. I said, still uh, some cricket is left in me. So I would like to definitely give it a try. I tried, you know, uh, a couple of more games. I didn't succeed. So I said, okay, maybe it was a fluke. Uh, maybe, you know, it was one odd game I did well and continuously a couple of games I didn't perform. So I was quite disappointed. But then again, uh, uh, when I started playing again, practicing more, uh, I was coming into shape and I started performing uh, consistently, you know. And then I captained a couple of teams now. And right now, currently, I'm playing with a few teams. Currently, I'm playing with a couple of teams. Uh, it's a corporate team. And we play uh, tournaments in uh, Delhi and NCR, uh, which is quite competitive, semi-professional, I would say. The reason behind of making this channel is that whatever uh, professional experiences which I have gained over the years throughout my cricketing career, I would like to share those experiences with you guys uh, so that you can be benefited. I would be sharing some professional tips, you know, how to start your career, how to start playing. I would in in my upcoming videos I would like to I will I would like to demonstrate uh, the batting the bowling the fielding and you know, all the aspect of the cricketing. Uh, not only that I will not be only uh, limited to coaching you know or tips or advices, but also I would like to help uh, uh, the youngsters which kit to buy. I will also like to cover those shops you know for how much uh, you can you know or what would be the budget. Uh, uh, which equipment should buy, which is the essential equipment to start with. Uh, these are the stories, uh, these are the videos I would be coming up with. This first video, I wanted to share my little experiences. Uh, I wanted to talk about my background. Stay tuned, uh, stay tuned guys. Uh, shortly, I would be coming up with a new video uh, regarding the professional tips about the cricket and the experiences and how you can achieve your uh, professional goals. Hope you guys have liked my uh, brief introduction and uh, thanks for watching me guys uh, so stay tuned guys keep subscribing my channel uh, thanks once again uh, have a good one thank you